Hello, my name is Jay Hwan, and today I'll talk about my paper, Multimodal Image Text Matching Improves Retrieval Based Chest X ray Report Generation. So, our team is an interdisciplinary team of computer scientists and radiologists working on our pro project. So, to begin with, what is radiology report generation? A radiology report generation is a task where we feed in a chest X ray image into an AI model which then generates a radiology report about the input chest x-ray image. There are two different ways of approaching the task of radiology report generation. The first one is having an AI model directly generate a caption of the input chest x-ray image. And another way would be having an AI model retrieve a report from the database that is the closest with the input chest x-ray image. Our project was mainly focused on the second approach, the image text retrieval ap approach. So how does retrieval work in reality? So we have chest x-ray, which is input, as well as the data, database of n reports. We, we would have this predefined similarity metric that calculates how similar the chest x-ray image is to every single report in the database. Uh, calculate the similarity score, and then retrieve the report that scores the highest similarity score, in this case, a third report. As you can see, the similarity metric plays a key role in, in the retrieval module. And this is where our approach, like the innovation of our, of our approach comes in. So conventionally, people use cosine similarity to compute the similarity. So we would have image encoder and text encoder to compute the uh, unimodal embeddings of the image and the text input. And then we would simply take the dot product of the two embeddings to calculate the similarity score. Whereas our proposed method has a third encoder, a, a multimodal encoder that takes in the two unimodal embeddings to predict the similarity score. And one nice thing about multimodal encoder is that this one is trainable, which means that we can tune this multimodal encoder to classify some of the more challenging ones that a simple dot product cannot easily classify. So here we have an image encoder that produces an image embedding. And then we are basically matching this chest x-ray image to these three reports, original report, which is a positive sample, random report, which is a negative sam sample, and challenge report, which is somewhat similar, yet still different with the, uh, with the chest x-ray input. So we feed in these embeddings into the multimodal encoder. The multimodal encoder will learn to classify the first report to be positive and the other two negative samples to be negative or zero in this case. So we compare our proposed model with a baseline image capturing model we've generated based on clip, uh, based on blip, as well as a pre-existing image, image text retrieval baseline, which is CXR repair. And we observe that XFrame, our proposed method, does outperform the two pre-existing baseline models across all four metrics, RAD graph F1, check spur similarity, bird score, and blue two, and RAD click. Uh, as a note for Radcliffe, the lower sweater for Radcliffe, we've observed that XRAM outperforms blip and CXR repair as well. We've also asked our radiologists to evaluate the quality of the generated reports uh, over three steps. We first assign 60 studies to each, radiolog each radiologist, and among the, 60 among the 60 studies, half of them came from XRAM. Half of them were generated by sex or pair, and the other 25% were generated by humans. And then we've asked these radiologists to uh, measure the error severity of each line in the report. In this case, the second and the fifth sentence of this candid report received an error of one and three. And then we asked the radiologists to report two error severity scores, the maximum error severity, which is the maximum error score, the lines, maximum error score, the lines, receive as well as average error severity, which is average of the all error scores. And we've seen a noticeable improvement over CX repair in terms of average error severity. However, in terms of worst case performance, XRAM still has room for improvement. Now for conclusion, so multimodal learning is here. So similarity metric matters. What this means is that multi replacing the co conventional cosine similarity with our multimodal encoder actually help boost the performance. And we need to focus on the worst case error. So radiology reports 
radiology studies suggest that while we've improved on average, still there's room for improvement in terms of worst case performance. Thank you.